Arsenal news update, ladies and gentlemen. We got an update from Fabrizio Romano on Gabriel Jesus' injury. Plus, we have an update on Eddie and Ketia. Will he leave? Will he not leave? We'll speak about that right now. Before you go any further, do me a favor. This is a call of action. I need you guys to do me a favor. Please do hit that like button. It's absolutely free. It's a thumbs up, and it helps the channel out massively. I only I only see about 10% of you guys who actually watch the video hit that like button. Let's try to get it to 20 at least. So do me a favor. Let's hit that like button, and let's try to get this video to at least 150 likes. First things first, we got to talk about this massive news that David Onstein just dropped a bomb on us. David Onstein just dropped a massive, massive, massive bomb on us about a couple of minutes ago, talking about the likes of Eddie and Ketia. Yes. So the news is that Eddie and Ketia's proposal to Nottingham Forest will not be happening, ladies and gentlemen. At this moment in time, Eddie and Ketia's proposal to Nottingham Forest has broken down. The deal in place between Forest and Arsenal is worth around 30 million pounds, but an agreement could not be closed with the player. The transfer is still expected to materialize, whether uh, it elsewhere before the window ends. So Eddie and Ketia is expected to still leave Arsenal but we will not be getting the 30 million that we're supposed to be getting from Nottingham Forest. So he will be leaving Arsenal. It's just, he will not be headed to Nottingham Forest. Uh, further uh, further explanations, whatever happens is five days left. I wouldn't be surprised if something happens, obviously, but there was some news from this gentleman here, Bobby, reported that, uh, that Crystal Palace are considering a loan with an obligation to buy for Arsenal's Eddie Nketiah after the move to Nottingham Forest has broken down. Eddie Nketiah is look, viewed as a long-term target of the South London club. They wanted Eddie Nketiah before they got Mateta. Now they have Eddie Nketiah still in their sights. Let's see what happens. I would love to see Eddie Nketiah moved on before the end of the window so we can bring in another attacker. I think that is a crucial step in getting us what we want and what we need before the end of the window. Don't forget, we've rejected two bids, one from Nottingham Forest and one from Marseille. Nottingham Forest ended up agreeing a 30 million pound bid for him. So maybe Marseille personal terms might not have been an issue, but Crystal Palace are red on alert for Eddie and Ketia and are ready with a 25 million pound bid for the striker. At this point in the window, do you take the 25 or do you stay solid and say, we need the full 30? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. How much is Eddie and Ketia worth to us? Should we just take in the 30 or should we, or sorry, should we just wait for, for the 30 pound, a 30 million pound bid? Or should we just take the 25 if Crystal Palace submit the 25 million? That is an interesting point to look at because we have rejected numerous bids in the past. Do we do it again? Do we reject another bid? We will have to wait and see. In other news, there's some news from Fabrizio Romano about Charlie Patino. Some silly people on social media were trying to call Charlie Patino the, the potential Odegaard replacement. Get out of here. He was never going to replace Odegaard. Charlie Patino is headed out on loan. No, he's going to be going there on a permanent. To Spain, he'll be joining Deportivo La Coruña for £1 million permanent deal plus add-ons with substantial sell-on clauses for Arsenal. So Charlie Patino will be leaving Arsenal. This is a good move for Charlie Patino. Now, we already know what's going on with Sky Sports. They reported this before David Onstein stating that um, not to enforce are unable to find an agreement with Arsenal striker, but two other clubs are also interested and we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. There's also some news on Nico Williams. This is some good news. Arsenal want... Uh, a backup in the wide positions. All the, uh, of the fans are asking for. Uh, all of the fans are asking for Nico Williams, but I, uh, but I, but I the what but that I go to be possible to do. Let's see if they can do something else. Yeah. So David Onstein basically saying that's not going to be possible. Let's see if they do something else. And then you also have Fabrizio. Romano giving us an update on Gabriel Jesus. So if you guys don't know, Gabriel Jesus missed the game versus Aston Villa because of an injury. Yes, that said injury was actually that he had a groin injury. And positive ind indications for Arsenal on the initial test for Gabriel Jesus, it does not look to 
uh, too serious. So more tests will follow. Arsenal are confirming to have Gabriel Jesus back available soon. This is good news. Good news that Gabriel Jesus will be back very, very soon. But at the same time, I feel like Gabriel Jesus being injured could have maybe moved Arsenal a little bit faster into getting some stuff done. But at this moment in time, we'll have to wait and see what happens. We also had David Onstein giving an update on Eddie and Ketia to Nottingham Forest uh, near, but not done. And also he spoke about Gabriel Jesus' uh, situation on, um, on B, uh, what was it, CBS Sports. Nottingham Forest will be getting Santiago Gomez, so Eddie and Ketia will not be happening. The Eddie and Ketia deal will not be happening, and Santiago Gomez will be ending up at Nottingham Forest. So it just seems like a situation where Feyenoord have agreed a fee, and this is who is going to be headed to Nottingham Forest. They got the better player, let's be honest. Eddie and Ketia is not as good as that guy. Um, and then... What else is there? There's five days left in the window. Let's see what Edu and these boys can get uh, can pull off for us. At this moment in time, I don't know what they have in store, but we're going to have to see. Arsenal are pushing for an obligation on a loan deal for Aaron Ramsdale. As sources are saying that the uh, window stretches, the clock is ticking, and Joao Garcia is still viewed as the number one option to replace Aaron Ramsdale in the case that we do get uh, a deal away for Aaron Ramsdale. We will get Espanol's draw Garcia, and that seems all but sorted to be our backup for David Rea. Now, I just want to shout out David Rea quickly. This this guy, David Rea, had an outstanding performance versus Aston Villa. Quick little shout out to David Rea. I thought David Rea was outstanding. Great saves from David Rea. You got to give him a lot of credit. Also, uh, Two people you got to give credit to, William Saliba and Leandro Trossard. They both balled out. William Saliba is just one of the best defenders in the world. And his performance, literally his aura was making people fall over. As for as for Leandro Trossard, you've seen it with the non-celebration. He, he, he didn't want to celebrate because he knows he should be starting. And that was a message to the manager. I should be starting. I'm not happy. Even though I scored what would be the, the goal that basically helps us win this game. Uh, it, yeah, and he doesn't he doesn't even celebrate, right? But Mikel Arteta has has a little bit of work to do from now to the window to try to see if he can get something done. Will it be Victor Jacarez? I don't know. Victor Jacarez did get a hat trick the other day, and he continues to score a lot of goals and get get involved in a lot of opportunities. Also, we did see Calafuri come on in the pre in in the previous game versus Aston Villa. Also, so that is a positive there but overall the team is playing well we have a couple more days in the window where we can try to improve the team and just put some respect on all the arsenal players and everything else what else can we really do at this moment in time we will have to wait and see arsenal are still going to work on some things but will how long will it take will it happen will reese nelson go will will we see will we see anything with eddie and ketia will we see anything with aaron ramsdale we don't know. One thing we do know is 11 hours ago, the Mikel Moreno deal was announced as finished. The Mikel Moreno deal is done. Mikel Moreno has completed his medical as a new Arsenal player. The club exchanged documents and the deal is sealed. 32 million plus 5 million in add-ons. The contract is until 2028 plus further options, uh, further sessions. So this is this is in euros, in pounds. That would be 28 million point five or something like that. So there you go. The Mikel Moreno deal is done. We are just waiting now. We are just waiting to see what happens next, ladies and gentlemen. We are waiting, patiently waiting to see what happens next and who we will be potentially bringing into the fold. As for right now, that is the latest on Arsenal transfer news. That is the latest Arsenal news. I'm just checking if there's anything else that I might have missed that, that I didn't mention doesn't really look like it so yeah that's pretty much it everybody uh, uh luckily we didn't get any injury scares in the previous game and that's all set for today hopefully you guys have yourselves a wonderful day i'll catch you guys in the next one and all i have to say is good evening it was a good evening for arsenal it was a good evening for arsenal and please do make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button on the way out we're out peace love